Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So this is an exciting video because we have all of our eyeshadows on the website available. You have been so patient and I thank you so much for hanging in there with me. I have worked extremely hard from designing a mold, getting that done, working with engineers to make something that I know that you will love. It's gonna make you look so beautiful. It's gonna make you feel so beautiful when you look at the actual compact in your makeup bag. It's different from your compact for Nikita Banana or Creme Brulee because this says Nicole Beauty. This just has an N on it. So you will be able to distinguish your eyeshadow palette compared to your pressed powder or your bronzer hybrid. So today starts our Labor Day sale. This is exciting. We have all these new products. Great time to take advantage of our sale. It only goes on for the five days. So once it's done, it's done. So this is a very exciting time. I'm very, very proud. I'm showing you some new products in this video that are coming out in October. I know you're gonna love these too. I am very chatty in this video because I'm very excited. I have color now. I can do videos again with color. Fierce Aging is coming back soon because I have color and we're just waiting for a couple more products from the line to really make it complete. So sign up for the newsletter. This is so important because that's where I announce all of our new launches, give you all the details before it hits social media. Are you ready, ladies? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, I'm very excited about this makeup tutorial because I'm using Sweet Carol that I reformulated but I did something different with the eyeshadow that is your middle color. This eyeshadow goes back to my mom's second video that I did with her, the first video ever that basically went viral. It's the one in March of 2019. She was my last guest for the Fierce Aging series that I didn't know I was going to continue for years. It's still ongoing now. We're just at a little bit of a stop. I'm gonna put my little silk scrunchie in to take my hair back. It's a little dirty, it needs to be washed. So we're gonna put it back in a scrunchie. I use silk because I don't want anything damaging my hair. I don't put the little rubber bands in there. I just do a little silk scrunchie. When I created this palette for her, it was all matte. My mom was always wearing these MAC matte, almost like grays, like these just really non plus colors. And that was her thing. And she would keep them forever. So they probably were expired and they were very blotchy and very patchy on her eyes. And it always bothered me. So when I brought her in on my channel, for the second video, I had also was doing a video with my aunt, and so we made custom palettes for them that were basically palettes that they would wear, what have you, and it was a special thing for them to be on the channel again or for my aunt for the first time. And so we created Naughty Nancy for my aunt, and then we created Sweet Carol for my mom. And we kind of replicated what she was kind of using, but I always, wanted to take her out of all matte. I love mattes. There's plenty of companies on the market, ladies. If you want matte, if you want all matte, there's plenty of companies to choose from. I designed my eyeshadow palettes, they are three wells, to enhance mature women's eyes. I don't wanna see a lot of matte shadows just hanging out on your eye. You might say, well, Nicole, I have really crepey eyes. I can't wear X, Y, and Z, or what have you. I made these eyeshadows very lightweight and silky with just a little reflective. They're not high glitter, they're not high shine. I actually brought down the sheen from our last formulation because I felt like it was too much. So now I want you to feel comfortable giving your eyes that extra. That's what this is. I'm just giving you a little extra. We have five palettes to choose from. You don't have 60. This is a very concise line. We have five. Will we be adding more in the future? Of course, things will change. We'll discontinue some depending on, but right now these are our core five. So we're gonna go into this Sweet Carol. It is the eyeshadow palette that I think is not so much misunderstood. You just don't understand the power of this eyeshadow. You have this really beautiful, almost like a bone petal color is your first one, it's matte. Then your second color is going to be almost like a lavender silver. It's so pretty. And then you have at the end a matte and it's a plum brown. So the undertones are brown. So this is something that is so versatile. So you could wear the first color all over your eye and just do some liner mascara. You could use the first two if you wanted to. You could use the first color as your bone color the middle color as you're all over and be done with it, put mascara on, do a little liner if you want and be out the door. Or you could take this into evening and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you, we're gonna go full throttle with Sweet Carol. You know, it might say Sweet Carol, 
but that's the beauty of it, right? You don't know, you think, oh, so sweet, whatever, but it has some serious power. And I told my mom that today when I was on the phone, I said, you know what, even though it says sweet Carol, you're very unpredictable. Like you can be, you know, very introverted, but you can also be very strong. And I love that because I love when you're just, it's unexpected, right? Don't judge a book by its cover when you don't really know. Our first step, my skin is totally prepped. I'm hoping that you think it looks, not my eyelids, but my, my skin itself, because Monday I have a really fun, really informative video on something I think you're gonna want to use for this holiday season. You have a wedding, you have a special event. Wait until you see it. I took myself years ahead and then I brought myself back and I, I reinvented my skin. All right, so we're gonna go in with our eye primer, my first step, my hero product, now in this beautiful compact that is pink. And you can still buy the old formula if you want to, ladies, while supplies last. So once it's gone, it's gone. If you're not ready to take the jump and be upgraded, that's not a problem. You have the option right now. So I'm going to swirl, just swirling just like this, bring it on my finger. I'm going to the middle. I'm gonna just tap and bring it down to the end and go in so you can see I need desperately to lighten my eyelids. This is not cute with this darkness. I don't want that. You know, I always say it's kind of like, because I wear shapewear all the time now on my YouTube. Again, I took myself out of bra and panties for a little bit and I put myself into Spanx full body shapewear. It's like a bodysuit and women are still mad and they're still like, oh no, it's inappropriate. I am like, we're done. <laughs> Next up is a wetsuit. Eye primer is on. Do you see the difference? I mean, hello, this is why I can't do eye shadow without having my eye primer on. I mean, it just makes absolutely no sense. I'll never get this beautiful colors. So you see that there's two little brushes. I'm gonna take them out because they're gonna fall out. So I'm gonna take them out. You can apply them with the brushes. I did a video showing you that the brushes are amazing. You have actually four brushes. It's two, but they're both, they have two sides to them. So it turns into four brushes, two sponges, and then two synthetics. So it's amazing. So here we go. This is our beautiful palette. I'm gonna start with the middle color, the fur, I can even mix them. But listen, let's keep it simple because <laughs> I don't want you to get confused. So we're gonna start with the middle color here. We're gonna do it all over the eye. I'm going to be using my simple shadow brush right here. And we're going to just swipe on the middle color and then we're gonna take it right to our eye. So you can see just right what I put on right now you have a little pop of sheen. That makes me happy. So when you sit in my chair and I go to do your makeup and I do the whole look, I want to see this little pop of just light. I don't wanna put on a matte shadow. There's something about it for me. It probably is just because I'm a makeup artist and I've worked on so many different women throughout my over 20 year career. It's almost like if I put on a matte, I have to top it with something. And I think this is how it started because I would be in my makeup kit and we would do a matte look. There was something about it. I was like, oh my God, I have to add something. And I would add, I don't know if it, I don't even remember what products I was using. I think it might've been, I don't know. There, I don't know who had it. I forget. It was like called honey something. It was like a golden sheen color. And I had to top the eyes. <laughs> Like always, I had to top it so it had a little bit of that radiance. I could not stand seeing my mothers of the bride or the mothers of the groom or the grandmothers where it didn't have this like wow factor. And so that I think, if I'm pulling it back and I'm thinking about where did this all start, like why does it bother me so much, is that I didn't feel like the makeup was like complete without it. So that is why when I put this on, so it is not over the top. You have that beautiful sheen. If you are wearing all mattes and that's all you've done and you were like, no way, I will never do that. And you do it. If I did your makeup, you would be like, I cannot believe I was using mattes my entire life. Like how dull, like not interesting. But I'm not saying that it's wrong. Or if you like it like that, then you do you. Like do matte all day long. I'm just saying that when I'm doing mature women, I've done plenty, hundreds of women, it dramatically changes their look. It, they just look alive. The skin looks beautiful. The eyelids look, they just pop. We have the main color on. This is the middle color. Then we can flip over and just do the bone, like the petally bone color, just right at the top. Merge the two together so you don't have any demarcation. You can, there's no rules, ladies. If you wanna take it and you wanna come down a little bit, remember I showed you, you can do, if you felt like it was too much of whatever you're using. Not even just my eyeshadows. If it's too much, 
you can take that first color, a lighter color, and it fits matte, you can wash it down. We did that with Tom Ford's palette. I think I put on a color and I was like, whoa, uh, I don't know. I just took it down and I washed the color over. So now I don't wanna really do that because we're, we're doing an evening look. I want this to stay that really beautiful sheen, but you can do that. It's almost like this veil, you're just washing it down a little bit and you're feeling more comfortable. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the tapered blending brush. This is like a little point. I'm gonna go into the darkest color and I'm going to, you know, again, highly pigmented, so don't get crazy. I'm going to just take it and I wanna see what I wanna do here. I wanna see what, what's going on. So you can see, we have these two really pretty light colors. Then we have the dramatic color. You can use it as a liner. You use it if you want depth. Even if this is your color that you intermix with the other palettes, this is your color that's going to take you to the next level. You want that palette that you can do day and then really transition into night, you got it. Sweet Carol will take you there. So this is beautiful here. Um, remember, nothing's on my face. I can clean up here. I will blend that, but maybe I just want to have that nice, deep richness right there. Okay, I like that. You can take this and just do it on the lash line. Wet the brush a tiny bit and then drag it over. You have an angled brush in here. It is synthetic. You can just get a little water on it. You can take it into the eyeshadow and just drag it across. So this is a really nice palette again, day to night. So I like this right now. We're gonna do a plum liner. I might actually mix in a little dark chocolate if I want to with the liner, you can do that. Plum on top, dark chocolate on the bottom, dark chocolate on the top, plum on the bottom, interesting. Right? I told you, it's a little complex, not so sweet. Kind of be a little bit all over the place, right? We like that. All right, so I just put this color here. It went up a little high there. You can see I only went here. I'm right-handed, so sometimes my right eye is easier. And then I was like, whoa, what happened here? Don't worry, you do not have to panic. Ladies, it's like we're cooking, right? And we're like, oh, we added a little bit too much there. Let's compensate over here. We'll just do this, we'll do that. It's fun. It's This is something that you should enjoy. Oh, good, I just blended it up. Oh, great, over here, take my, my eyeshadow blending brush and just blend it out you're going to see, oh, perfect. Oh, doesn't go, now it's matching. Oh, I'm so happy. So that's what you want to feel like. This is not stressful. This is fun and exciting. You're over 50, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You're like Henrietta, you're 101, and you're like, you know what, I can do this. I can do makeup and I enjoy it. You don't have to follow rules. I've told you that multiple times. I'm gonna go with my Lancome biphase makeup remover with my Shiseido cotton. You know the story about my cotton. I was using rough like Costco cotton because I was buying it in bulk. And then one day I was like, I'm too old for this. I am too old to scratch my skin and be uncomfortable. I was like, Nicole, you deserve <laughs> soft cotton. So what did I do? I went on a mission and I kind of thought it was like a little bit of a splurge and what have you. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, what? I would never use anything else. So I just put a little dab and then I will clean up so you can see anything that falls down, I just clean up. Nothing's on my skin, like besides my moisturizer and what have you, like this one right here. You can see, ah, perfect. See that? It came down. I don't want it to go past my last lash. I want to keep everything up. And what I really like is that this moisturizes at the same time because it's oil-based. And for all of you that are saying, so funny, I had complaints before my eyeliners with the original formula that they didn't stay, but they were waterproof. People were like, oh, they don't stay, what have you. Now, my new formula is like waterproof. They stay, my eyes water. I don't know, this one always waters, left eye, my mom is water. So having a waterproof pencil is so important. And so now the ladies, <laughs> now I see these emails coming through, like, I can't get it off, it stays too long. I'm like, oh my gosh, no, 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 no. We want the waterproof. You just have to find the right makeup remover. This is great. You can put a little Q-tip in here. It fits perfectly, do you see? It goes down in this little hole, it goes in, and you just take it across your lash line. You get it all off. It's very simple if you're using the right remover. If you're not, yes, it's hard, and you don't want that, but let me tell you something. You've heard all of my dramatic stories of when I got caught in the flash flood, my, my eyeliner looked amazing the next morning. I mean, you want a waterproof eyeliner. We want to curl our lashes before we do our eyeliner. This is going to disrupt. If we have the eyeliner on now, you don't want that. Just curl your lashes first, then we'll do the eyeliner. Lashes are curled and up. Now, what we're gonna do is, we will take our plum and we'll take our dark chocolate. So I have dark chocolate and I have plum. 
something interesting, right? I haven't done this, I don't think, on my channel. So we could do plum on the top. I think that I'm gonna do that and do the dark chocolate on the bottom, just because I want to. You could do plum on the top, plum on the bottom. You can mix it up. You can do plum and then put on a little dark chocolate at the end. It's fun. Think about it. Again, we are like making a very unique makeup look. So you figure out what's going to be best for you. So I'm going to do my normal technique of going to the base of the lashes. This is really smooth. I made it that way because I did not want you dragging a liner across your eyes. I cannot stand that. It is not comfortable. It is not good for your eyes, especially mature eyes. So you have this really nice, creamy, beautiful liner that's going to really give you that pigment. It's really going to stay on, as I have said. Remember, go lift at the end. Just lift a little bit up. Even if you have more hooded eyes, don't follow your eyes down. You don't wanna drag the eye down. So we're going right to the base. The plum looks so beautiful. It's so rich. That's what I love about these pencils, that they're so rich and that they look just dynamite with little effort. All right, so we have the plum on the top. This is really great to these colors. When you have hazel eyes, when you have green eyes, you can see that my eyes, this one is looking a little bit more green. You know, I do have two different color eyes. So now I'm gonna take the dark chocolate. I'm gonna go underneath, and this is just to do a little balance. And you can dot if you want to. Let's just put it on and kind of mess up because I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So you can say, oh no, don't like it. Oh, that's too much. Take your, this is what I call my eraser brush. It's a short smudge brush. All you do is you drag it across just like this and you smoke it up. So whatever you felt like was a bad idea and you're like, oh no, that was too much. Look what I did. I put it on and I was like, that didn't look so great. Too little, too heavy. And I smoothed it out. Same thing on the top. You can do the same thing on the top. I like that I did two different colors. Then I can go back and I can just do a little plum at the very end. And it's just creating dimension. I think that looks so good. I love this. I love playing around and doing different things. All right, so I did the same exact thing I did on the right eye, and now we're gonna put on our mascara. I am going to be using my Volume Up mascara. This is a mascara wand that has tiny little teeth, and I designed the brush and the formula to go together. That's something that a lot of people don't know about mascaras. You just can't throw in any kind of wand. It has to match the formula. It has to do what you want it to do. So this is volumizing and I wanted these little teeth, but I wanted the whole brush to be round so you can roll the brush. So I wanted you, so if you're using it like this, you still have all of that product on the other side. So you're not having to constantly dip back in, which causes potential clumping, what have you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the base, wiggle back and forth and go up. You know what I've been noticing about my lashes lately though? They're in their little cycle of giving me holes. So I have like holes in my lashes. I'm really not thrilled about it. <laughs> like some are long, some are really short. I have a little hole. Sometimes this is the one that has a little hole in it. Sometimes I'll have to put false lash cluster <laughs> so you don't see the hole. I don't know, it's just this kind of cycle happened. This hasn't happened in a long time, but it's happening now. All right, so now we're on to skin. This is really exciting. I have two new products that I'm going to be sharing with you that are coming out in October. So this is a little preview. So what we're gonna do is let's look at the skin and see, okay. So we definitely need to lighten this area. So I always go to my tried and true Just Peachy. This really works for me. I get up into that inner corner. So you can see that I have these grays. I have these blues underneath my eye. I sometimes will use this as my concealer and I don't need a concealer. This has shea butter in it. It's very creamy. You can see how it went on. It's very, very silky and smooth. It's lightweight, it's not heavy. And this is what, I like to do to really give my skin that brightening. If I have to go over, if I need more coverage on certain days and I want to, you know, kind of spot treat, I'll put a concealer over like you've seen in other videos and then just press it in. But this is how I really get this area. And I bring it down here because I have to. I have this pigment, I don't love it. And I've been working very hard since 2020 when it really started to show. And then what I do is just press it into the skin 
So it's one skin, go right up under, right where I got the eyeliner, making sure that I'm not going over the eyeliner, not too close underneath my eye here. Don't need to go crazy. And then we will move on to our BB cream. All right, so the Just Peachy is worked into my skin. Now I could do a little spot treatment with the concealer I'm using, Chanel B32, just right in this little area, but my Just Peachy color corrector has done the heavy lifting for me. It has lightened this area, so my concealer doesn't have to work that hard. I don't have to apply that much concealer because I don't like that look of tons of concealer, so I can just work this, tap it in with my foundation buffing brush, just like this. I always say that my Just Peachy is like a confidence booster for me. If I have zero time, I swipe that on <laughs> all over my face and then I blend it in and I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. Like I have corrected where it makes me look tired or I look like I have just, you know, not a lot of sleep. This brightens my eyes right away. So now we're gonna go into the BB cream. This is my BB cream coming out. I want to say September, but I'm going to do a little slash and say September, October. This is light. Again, production changes, raw materials change, timelines are just all over the place. Shipping is all over the place. So I try to be as accurate as possible, but um, I am showing you a product coming up that was supposed to be here in August, but it got pushed back to October. And I just have to roll with the punches. So, but I'm gonna show it to you so you can prepare that it's coming out. BB cream is on. Let's just put a little bit more of my rose lip balm to, I kind of went over my lips with the BB cream. Now, what you can do is you wanna open up the eye because we have a little bit more of an evening eye. You can take a nude eyeliner and you can go into the inner rim and it's going to brighten the eye area. This is always hard when I do it with one hand, but you can go into the, the tight line here and you can color this nice and nude and it's going to open up the eye. So if you feel that putting a liner underneath, smoking it up is closing down your eyes or you don't like that, omit it, don't, don't do it. Or you can add this nude liner and it's going to open up the eye a little bit more. This is a really great makeup artist pro tip is getting a nude eyeliner or a white one. Nude is a little bit more forgiving and you can open up the eye, even if this is your everyday thing. Maybe you have red eyelids and you're like, wait, how do I get rid of that? Use a nude eyeliner. The skin is beautiful. We're gonna just take a little bit of the Nikita banana and I'm going to just do a T-zone. I'm gonna set everything. You might be thinking, oh my gosh, Nicole, your eyes are so dark. Nothing has been balanced yet. Lips aren't done, cheeks aren't done. So here are my two new products for you. I'm coming out with blush sticks, not blush compacts, because we have a lot of compacts and I wanted to take you to something simple and easy to find in your makeup bag. So I kept Palm Beach, your favorite. This is a beautiful warm apricot. And then I'm coming out with St. Bart's. So we got rid of Cheeky, we discontinued that color. And a lot of you have been asking me for more of a petally rose color. So this is the beautiful petal rose. If you go by color theory, cause I'm a cool neutral, I shouldn't be wearing this warm apricot, but I do cause I love it so much. But you have options now. You can go into a warmer tone or you can go into a cooler tone. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like on. A very simple, really nice and creamy, easy application. You can swipe on and then you can just use your finger to work it in. You can see that this really livens up the face, adds that beautiful color. It's so natural, but yet you're still getting that dewiness. So it's not flat. It's not a shimmer or anything like that. I wanted this to be really beautiful for mature skin and give you that color that you want. It looks beautiful with Sweet Carol. It looks great with Naughty Nancy. It looks really beautiful with all of the eyeshadows. It just depends on what kind of cheek you like. So I'm going to just work this in. Cream blush is on the skin. I'm going to take a little bronzer. This is my hybrid bronzer. You can see that it's cut with, it's almost like this custard. That's why I named it creme brulee. It's like you have this really nice burnt sugar and then you have this beautiful like creamy custard. And I just take my, my blush brush, I swirl it into the compact and then I will create a little bit of that dimension. I can use this all over my face because it's not a straight bronzer. So it's not gonna be harsh on my skin. It's not a yellow or an orange. So you don't have to worry. You can just get a really beautiful, healthy glow, add some of that color like you've been on vacation 
that you've always wanted to go on, like me. I haven't been on vacation in four years. I'm okay with it though. I'm making beautiful products for you ladies. I'm going to just brush my brows up. I don't need to fill them in today. And then we have the option of what colors are we going to use for the lip? What's gonna look beautiful? Should we do aperitif? Let's just look and see. This is aperitif. This is a beautiful plum that you all are loving. I'm really excited that I brought this out. I knew that you wanted to have something like this. You all love plums. This has been a very big hit with the ladies in my family. So we have the aperitif, beautiful. We could go into, if we wanted to, we could do an actually I can. We are just kind of giving that really pretty, you know, pink lip. This is gonna be brighter than Pretty Smart. Pretty Smart's going to take you down a little bit of a notch, more neutral. This is very pretty also. This is really nice. So you have Pretty Smart, you have Actually I Can, so you can see them together. Actually I Can is that a little bit more punchy of a pink, or you can go in with a aperitif. It depends, you know. Do you wanna liven up the lip? Do you want the lip to be a little bit more of a showpiece and not to be kind of monochromatic in this? We could do that. Also, you don't have to go into a lipstick, you can go into a lip gloss. Maybe you wanna do Coco 13, so pretty. You know I'm gonna to top this on one of those lipsticks. You could go into doing something that's just a little bit more nude, which is good vibes, or you could top something off, like a Pretty Smart with your Shams. Lots of different options. There's lots of little different combos that you can do. It's really up to you what you like, how you like to play with your makeup. Try something new, ladies. Get outside of the box, because when you do, you're going to be thrilled you're going to be in love with doing makeup again. I think we're gonna go with rose all day. You know why? Because we're gonna push it with a pink lip. And I think I'm gonna, I'm so torn between actually I can and pretty smart. It's like, do I wanna go softer and let the eyes really do the talking or do I wanna do more of a pink and be like a here I am? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm just so perplexed. You can take rosé all day and make it a lipstick if you want to. Remember, I have the rose balm on now. My lips are really hydrated. So you can see, you see how smooth this goes on when I have my lips hydrated? If your lips are not hydrated and they are cracked and they are dry, you will get this blotchy look to your lip. It's not gonna go on smooth like this. These are waterproof. This is gonna make your lipstick last longer. Fill in your lips with your lip liner. That's always an option if you really want that staying power. So here we have rosé all day. I haven't even put on a lipstick yet. So this could work for you. You could use your lip liner as your lipstick if you wanted to. Top it off with maybe a little champs would look really pretty. I think I'm gonna do, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go for the actually I can over rosé all day and see what we have. I think that looks really pretty. I want a punchy lip. I want something that's not going to be all monochromatic. But if you do wanna see that, let's just do it so you can see, because I know it's hard on the website sometimes to kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna take this off and just prep a little bit again, and let's go with doing aperitif. Let's show you what that can do and how it would change. I'm gonna go, let me think, what should I do here? We're gonna do a silk lip liner. It's really your universal, just kind of nude. Silk is on. Now we're gonna take the aperitif. This look is gonna be completely different. Now you have more harmony when it comes to the eyes with the lip. So aperitif with the silk lip liner, and then we have Sweet Carol. Now you can take the Sweet Carol down and do something very light, or you can really go and do something more dramatic than this, it's up to you. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take Coco 13 and I'm gonna top this, because I love that little highlight. I love how it gives that special pop to the lip. Now you don't have to put on a lip gloss if you don't want to. I always think it completes the look and that's why I'm always doing it. It's kind of like the eyes. I love that little sheen. I love the little sheen on the lips. I love the combo. I like how it turns it into your own color. And then I always will put on my Clarins. It's called Fix Makeup. I'm gonna just set my makeup. It always feels so refreshing too when I put on a makeup setting spray. And there you go. You have something a little bit different. You have a palette that you might be unsure of. Like, oh, I don't think that's for me, what have you, but it's so versatile. There's, you can go super light. You can use one color, two colors, or all three colors. This is a really wonderful palette for weddings or special events where you have range. So maybe you, will, you would like to have the cabana. It's like your every day. You're not, it's not gonna take you to a black tie event, but having something like Sweet Carol that is versatile, that you can take from day to night is just wonderful. It's always nice to feel like, oh, I know what I could do. It looks great with navies, it looks great with black, it looks great with 
pale pinks, just beautiful. So ladies, let me know, are you excited about these eyeshadows? Are you excited that they're finally back <laughs> on my website? Better than ever, super silky, gluten-free, talc-free, cruelty-free, you name it, we have done it for you. We created this special mold just for you. I'm so excited. You know we have the Labor Day sale going on now. It starts today. This is very exciting. A great time to experiment and take advantage. So until my next video, I'll see you later.